Now today I have a Cubase tip video for you. Check this one out. That looks pretty cool. Now hang in there because I'm going to show you how you can customize your own channel color scheme in Cubase. So before we jump in and we mess around with all the colors in Cubase, if you're new here on the channel, subscribe, click that notification bell. And for all of you, don't forget to share and to like this video. All right, so I'm gonna be working in Cubase 10, but know that what I'm gonna be showing you today also works in Cubase 9.5 and I believe in Cubase 9 also. Now, if you're using older versions of Cubase, let me know in the comment section if what I'm gonna be showing you today also work on your Cubase. All right, so uh, let's start by explaining to you wh where I can get those colors, how I can customize my channel color scheme. Uh, it's basically in the color palette. If I open the, um, the colorize option on top uh, and go down to set up colors, I'm gonna get to the project colors window. And this is where all of the magic happens. So first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down to options and I'm gonna load the factory default Cubase colors. When you install Cubase for the first time, those are the colors that are set up by default. Uh, so let's say you just want to change one color, you want to change the red and put it black, just click on it, choose your color, click on OK, and there you go. You can also rename the color to your taste, okay, to whatever you want. And that's it. If you want to add one palette, basically you just need to click on the select one color, go down to options and click on insert new color before selection. And there you go. You have an empty uh, color box that you can use and choose your custom color. Okay. Very, very simple. So this is how you can uh, create your own color scheme. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to take uh, a certain amount of time if you want to set something like I have right here uh, on my project. But if you don't want to waste any time with this, I am going to share with you this exact color scheme for you to download for free. Just click on the link on top and that will bring you to where you can download that project. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how you can load that project and get that scheme in your Cubase. First, what you need to understand is a color scheme will be saved with a project. So if you customize a scheme in your project um, and, and you open another project, you're not gonna find the scheme you worked on in the previous project. What you need to do if you want it to, to if you want that scheme to be part of your Cubase by default, you need to go at the bottom on options and go down to save current set as program defaults. And that will save your new uh, channel color scheme as a default scheme for Cubase. So the next time you're gonna create a new project, a new Cubase project, you'll have access to that new scheme. I'm just gonna cancel here get back to my project colors. So again, the only thing I need to do once I'm happy with the, the colors I, uh, I have loaded, or if you just use my, uh, my color scheme, it's basically simple because what you're gonna download is an actual Cubase project. So once you're happy with your colors, what you need to do is just save your project, your empty project as a color project like I did here. Mine is called Color Mixdown and it's saved somewhere on my hard drive where I can have access to it. Okay, so this is my main color template, my scheme template. If I wanna apply this in Cubase, I need to open that project and this is the project that I am sharing with you for free, okay? So check in the uh, description down below if you wanna download a copy of that project so you can have access to those colors. So what you need to do once you have the project, you open the project, you go into uh, Colorize, uh, go down to Setup Colors, that will open the project colors and uh, you go down to Options and you click on Save Current Set as program defaults that's it and next time you're going to open a new project a new cubase project this is the palette that you're, you're going to get now if uh, for example and let me click on option i'm going to reset that to the factory default okay now let's say i'm opening an older cubase project um, that new color palette that i just set up as a default palette will not be available. So what I need to do if I want to make it available on that older project, I need to go back into my project colors window and click down to options and click on load program defaults to current set. That's it. 
So this is how you can load my custom color palette on your Cubase, or you can create your own, customize your own, build your own, and uh, share it with your friends if you want to. Now, before I end this video, I'm gonna share with you an extra tip. It's how to colorize that entire track in the track list window on the uh, left side of the project window. Because I'm pretty sure that if I don't tell you how I did that, I'm gonna get a lot of questions about that. Okay, so uh, first what you need to do is to go into edit preferences, if you're in older versions of Cubase, go to File and down to Preferences to get that window. And you're going to have to go down to Tracks, okay, Event Display and then Tracks. And you'll see the Colorize Track Controls. By default, it is set up to Minimum, which gives you this look. That comes by default with Cubase. So if you want to colorize a bit of your tracks, uh, you have a, a certain degree. You can bring that to Max, which will give your colors an intense look or you can just bring it down to a minimum. So play with that to get the colorized tone that you wish and then click on apply and that symbol, uh, you have all of those tracks colorized on the track list. Uh, if you want, you can only colorize the folder tracks if you want to. So let me click on apply and I'm gonna create a couple of uh, folders. Uh, let's go with three folders. All right, they're down below. I'm gonna bring them right here. And I'm gonna colorize those, uh, put them in blue. So the only thing that are colorized, uh, that are fully colorized on the track list are the folders. So that can be useful uh, depending on what you, uh, you're you doing. Okay, so it's gonna get back here. So again, uh, go down to edit, uh, preferences, tracks, and just click on the colorized track, adjust that to your taste. Uh, if you wanna only have the folder tracks colorized, click on this option. Make sure this option to colorize only folder track controls is checked. If not, keep that unchecked and there you go. All right guys, so this is how you can load your own channel color scheme in Cubase. Now, if you have any questions, please leave everything down below and don't forget to share, to like, and to subscribe to this channel and to download my free color scheme. I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you next time. <laughs>